and I've been coming down for years and years and years. And I used to go before I could even drive when my dad would take my brother down to the train to go to Western for college. And years after that, a friend of mine was a train nut, so we'd come down here and look around and check out the trains, and sometimes we would come and see the ticket agents who would sometimes hold us some old railroad stuff. I remember, and I still got a plaque from New York Central. They were, it was a counter thing, but anyway, it was pretty cool. And so after that, I would come down here and Throughout the 80s, they were doing a restoration on this place. They polished the floors, cleaned it up. There used to be big walls in the middle of the station. You couldn't walk through there to get here. The waiting room on both sides was closed off. And sometime later, I went upstairs and you could look down. It was like a junkyard of just busted up desks and things. When the Great Lakes Trade Center was cleaning it up, they polished the floors, took out those walls, and yeah, you know, it was pretty nice. Right behind you, this was a short order restaurant, and it used to be probably late 40s modern or something like that. And then when they were restoring this, they took the false ceilings down, and you see these comfort ceilings, these vaulted ceilings, which is what you have now. So, well, you know, I've seen a lot of this. I mean, we used to go up to all the upper levels, and you know, when I worked on town just a couple blocks from here. At, engineering for Cadillac motor car we would come here at lunch and just walk around and take a look at stuff and it was just an awesome place to see so I'd see it over the years I took I can't even tell you how many pictures I took of this place and then it was closed sometime in the late 90s I think it was there was some kind of an art exhibit I remember it was called like ghosts of passengers past it'd be like some techno music or something and dresses and things and old uh, luggage just hanging in the breeze and I went from there and looked around and said I didn't want to come back here after that I said I'd never come back after seeing what it used to look like and seeing the decay now but then you look at it years later it got worse <laughs> so now things are beginning to change so it's kind of cool to see what's happening here it will be interesting to see what's happening now yeah, these pictures here, they weren't just things like here's the, a sign of when they had the, the Great Lakes Trade Center that they were putting in there, 1986, you see that? So, you know, there's different things, there's some of the upper levels, and this is where you would get in the bathtub to take a bath after being on a steam train, getting all covered in soot. That was still there, it might still be there, I don't know. So. These are just some miscellaneous things that I took. Here's the ticket. That's the old clock that was there. And they lowered these on a winch, and you could take a look inside. This is where we're standing right over here. You can see what it's like now, just this freeze details about it. And this one here was in the late 90s. It was still, well, from outside. It still had the original windows. There's one from the top level that was never finished. And there you go. So, I've scanned in a few of these. Well, over the years, I took these, but it was the fun. So.